Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Ani, and today we are going to be boiling some sponges. We're going to drop them in the pot. First things first, if you want to see that, be sure to hit the subscribe button because you want to subscribe, and Obi says to subscribe. Obi tell him to subscribe. <laughs> yeah, he said to subscribe, so make sure you do that. We'll be back in a second. Stay tuned. I don't know what this was, but we're going to make it a thing. Love y'all. The L for love. <laughs> Action. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ani, and today, like I said in the intro, we are going to be boiling some sponges. Now, I have never seen it before where anybody puts the sponge in the pot, in the boiling water, with the soap on the stove. That kind of rhymes a little bit. I see you. Big bars. <laughs> but yeah, so I've never seen it done before, so I'm going to go ahead and be the first on YouTube. Go ahead, hand me my Grammy. I just want to thank everyone for cooperating and all my subscribers supporting me. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys closer so that way I can tell you everything you need. First thing you want to use is your pot. It could be any pot really. I mean, I think you should do a deeper pot. So I'm going to do this pot. And I have two of my sponges, which are dirty. So make sure they're nice and nasty. And then you also want to have some soap. It could be dishwashing soap or any type of soap. I would prefer this to clean your sponges because it breaks down oil and makeup and all other stuff. So this will be really good. We're going to see what happens when we boil the water with the soap in it and put the sponges in there. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so now I went ahead and got my pot on the stove. I'm gonna go ahead and crank up the heat and we're basically gonna wait till the water starts to boil. Okay, now you wanna go ahead and add your soap. All right, so I'm just kind of stirring this water around a little bit before I put in my sponges. I've already applied my soap, so you guys can see the bubbles on the top. So I'm gonna use these tongs, and I'm gonna go ahead and put in my sponges. It was one, second one, two. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and push them down in there a little bit and kind of do their thing. Low key, the water's already kind of turned a little brown. So that's a good thing. I think this is gonna work really nicely. You can use these tongs to kind of squeeze them out a little bit. Low key working really nicely. So I'm just gonna keep pushing them down in there. And low key, since I've been putting, since I put the soap in there and put these in there, is low key making the water bubble a little bit more. Oop. So make sure you're careful. With that, but look, I'm starting to see a little bit of results. Actually, the water is really brown. As you guys can see, water looks like makeup water. So I'm just gonna let them sit for about five minutes. I'm just pressing these down. So this is one of those meat pressers. So I mean, if you don't have this at home, you can easily get it from the dollar store or anywhere else. So I'm just using it to kind of press down little bit to get some of that makeup out y'all can see it's really actually doing really well surprisingly more makeup has come out already than I thought <laughs> so this water is pretty pretty brown I'm gonna show you guys so you can kind of see the pink popping back up so just make sure you kind of you know Move them around a little bit, squeeze them a little bit as they're in there. Do not do this with tongs that do not have protective covering on it because it will burn you and I don't wanna be responsible for that. So <laughs> just be for sure that you make sure that you're extremely careful. It is hot, so just be thinking about that. 
Hey guys, so as you can see, look at this water. Like, as many times as I've cleaned my sponges, I don't think I have ever seen my water this dirty. Um, so keep that in mind. Also, as I was sitting here and thinking, you know, it is very important to clean your makeup utensils, especially if you do makeup and you're doing several other people's faces besides yours. You wanna make sure that you get germs out of all of your products that you use on others. So this is a really good way to kill some germs. You know, you can do whatever you want to do. I don't know about putting bleach in this stuff. I mean, I think that might be a little, a different story, but you know, I think this is really good. This is good practice for someone who is definitely doing genius. <laughs> genius. Yeah. Okay, so as you guys can see, we're getting ready to take them out, but you can see all the dirt and the water, the bubbles have gone down. Everything is looking good. You can see the tips of these look actually really amazing for some used sponges. So we're gonna go ahead and remove them, turn off the fire, and get ready to place them on a dry paper towel. My sponge on the paper towel. I'm gonna grab the other one. was kind of slanted so it's not gonna sit up on its own there we go so as you guys can see they're both hot and steaming and I'm gonna go ahead and take this wonderful cold bottle or not bottle my dumb ass I said bottle and I'm going to move these out the way for a split second this is a bowl of freezing cold water I'm going to literally take these sponges and I'm going to place them into this water. So I'm gonna take these hot sponges, they're steaming, so yes, they're very hot. I'm gonna go ahead and put the other one in there. I'm just literally poking at them. You do not wanna squeeze them fresh out of the boiling hot water because it will burn you regardless of being in cold water. So just keep in mind of that. So there is still probably some foundation water in this. So I'm just going ahead and just tapping around bobbing them in and out of the water so that way it gives the chance of that heat to come out of these. So I'm just spinning them and give it some time. And then I'm, now I'm gonna go ahead and just squeeze. And you can still feel the heat coming out of them as I squeeze, but you can see, ouch, the water. So yeah, keep that in mind guys, if things do get hit. Actually, why not use our nice little tool here? About to go ahead and match these babies. Ooh, you can kind of see the dirt coming out of it. Kind of press down a little bit. The pink one is not coming up, so the pink one must be really absorbing all that water. Doing the same thing with the blue one. And as y'all can see, it is, the water is turning a little bit of color. And so I'm just pushing down on these pretty hard, mashing them down, and just allowing the water to fill back in them as we go. Down onto my little trusty napkin right here. So we got one. It's not gonna sit up because it is kind of trying to regain its shape. And then we're gonna take the second, ooh, the second one. These things are huge. And I'm gonna wring it out. I feel like these feel like towels. But as you can see, the blue almost completely got back its color. I'm trying to give you guys a good look. Some on more sides than others, but actually looks really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this one down as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and let these two regain its shape back, kind of dry off a little bit, and then we'll be back to give you guys the end result. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour out this water. Ooh, this looks nasty. It's literally like reddish orange. Ugh. All right. 
All right, guys, so this is the finished product. They are a little sloppy body because they have, they're still kind of moist, but this is exactly how they're going to look once you finish. They basically look brand new, just minus all the dents and dimples. Um, and that will go away as they have the time to dry out. So just keep that in mind. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and it was helpful, leave it down below in the comments and make sure you share it with everybody because again, we are legendary. We are number one. Okay, so remember that. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell if you want to know when we upload. Be sure to share, share, share and give this video a thumbs up. Love you so much and I will see you next time.